everybody, this is Vampire Groon here, and today we're going to be talking about another individual by the name of Bella the Wolf. This has been getting really popular lately about this Bella person, and I've been hearing so much about her. I think it's my kind of turn to make my two cents about this minor over here. Um, before I continue, I never remembered minors being this bad. I mean, minors were bad. I was one of them, especially if you were in the DeviantArt like genre like uh generation type bullshit with the drama but like this is getting more insane as the years go by and honestly society is so disappointing right now so before i continue and everything i'm going to show um a video that came from tessa or layla monica whatever um, recently, they befriended Bella, and honestly, I feel like they only befriended Bella on her Discord server, nonetheless, is because I reshared about Bella because of so much coming up my feed. And the fact that this person is also a minor and has also been called out recently for their weird behavior, this is nothing new to me since Bella also has some weird behaviors going on too, especially having minors themselves literally be the most chaotic thing ever so here's a video from tessa herself giving a shout out to miss bella the wolf here hello everybody this is tessa today i became friends with bella the wolf so she's been uploading the youtube channels and youtube videos all day but not all day because she uploaded for a couple of days ago so i subbed her channel I honestly feel like you only befriended her because what I posted on my YouTube posts and you're aware how disturbing she is, but okay. Jesus gets punished, face reveal, I get rid of the rent. So you read it out loud and you're aware that this is disturbing, but yet you still support her. I don't understand any of y'all at this point for this. I get rid of Jesus. You can't get rid of God, and it's the fact that Bella has her own religion called Bellism. It's not a thing. You're delusional. Do you know what happens when you mock God? Like, look at the vegan teacher for an example. She literally kept saying, oh, be vegan, be better than God, and then she went to the hospital because of her eye. Because... I swear to God, bro, you guys really need to look at your shit. Because if you mock God, he's going to punish you for it. I'm not the type of person that has any type of religion. I am a Norse pagan. I believe more than one God, not just God himself. But, like, even I know this. Holy Lord. <laughs> it's really good. What is so good about Bella in her video? She literally made a video about killing a veteran. Excuse me? Are you fucking si And then the j- You need help. I hope that she can, um, you know, upload some videos sometime. But she uploaded the distorts, but it's a little, but... I sincerely want to know what's so good about Bella. She literally killed, well, quote-unquote, made a killing video about a YouTuber named Steaks Puppy Sugar killing an innocent puppy, and then made a lie saying, Ooh, she killed, she tried biting me, type shit. Like, no. And not only that, she doesn't care that she gets doxxed. She mentioned that. She doesn't care what goes on with herself. Knowing that she's putting herself in a dangerous situation. So she's basically known as this cringe lord minor. 15, 16 year old. Thinking that she's some god. Very delusional. And not only that. She. Like you know. She just does the most disturbing things. And there's so much more. Than just this. On to. Like I'm so serious. On everything. Coming from the bottom of my heart. Of what the hell she has done. Mm, nothing really, considering the fact that they're all fake. Why are you a nigga? Um. Wow, we just caught you in 4K saying the N word, Be uh, Bella, or should I say Sherry? Yeah. 
she exposed her name too, so it's not really considered doxing if she doesn't really care. And she just exposed her own name too as well. But it's the fact that like you're saying that so casually when you are a white girl. I don't even care if you even have 5% of like African American you or whatnot. That does not count. You are you're white. What? You know what? Let's just continue on this shit. Okay. Oh my god, I love Bella the Wolf. She's such a queen slay. Like, you guys are just haters and you guys don't love her. Like, she's the greatest person in the planet. She's our god and savior. If you hate her, you will perish and go to hell. How dare you disrespect our lord and savior, Bella the Wolf. We love her so dearly. That's what y'all sound like 24-7, especially in that goddamn Discord server she has. This is literally y'all's reaction, and it's so corny and embarrassing. Anyway, to carry on on this buffoonery shit, there's a lot more to this. Let's not forget that this girl has a soundtrack coming out and it's probably gonna sound like shit. Then she posted a face reveal. Then she says she's Muslim, which she faked, but knowing Bella, she's sitting here saying that she's God also, so I mean, what else is she gonna fake for clout? Then she has not safe for work art of her and Jesus. She's 15! Then she talks about more of this stuff. And then, you know, you do this question thing. And then Drake, however, is called out as a fucking pedo. Um, then she talks about Technoblade. Obviously, he's in heaven. So it's the fact that she would go that far talking about Technoblade. If you don't know who Technoblade is, he was a YouTuber. He played Minecraft all the time. He passed away from cancer, and his father is taking his legacy now. But it's the fact that she goes that far talking about Technoblade, and then she talks more shit about Technoblade. And then she goes about this stuff, then talks about a diss track, then she talks about Pat God, which if you don't know who Pat God is, he likes to, like, you know, roast people. Then she shows people's animals and says the most disturbing things, like if you haven't seen what she did to Streak's dog, then you will know. Then she said, did Technoblade deserve it? Again, Technoblade was never known for racism or anything. He was just a normal YouTuber who played Minecraft. He was a huge inspiration to people. He was always kind-hearted and everything. I don't know much about Technoblade, but my boyfriend did. And the way that my boyfriend and a few other people who've watched Technoblade explained, it he was a good guy. So it's like, the fact that you go that far to talk about someone's death and false accusations about the said person who passed away from literally cancer, you are disgusting and disturbing and you really do need to seek help. You need to go touch grass. I think there's something wrong in your thick skull over there and something isn't right. However, as I stated, she was already caught in 4K for racism and other disturbing shit. So I mean, we all can see that it's in her public channel. Especially how her Discord server is, it's just way more worse and chaotic than she would post on- I mean, they're both bad. On God, they're both bad. Especially the kids on there that are literally just mocking, um, Bella just to quote be like her and then say she's a whole inspiration. She isn't your inspiration! Be a leader, not a follower! Like, I don't understand what y'all are doing. Y'all seriously need some mega help for that. I don't understand this generation anymore. I don't even remember acting like, I mean I do, but I was never this far extent. Holy shit. Okay, well, I mean, I was bad. I mean, I did things I shouldn't have said and done, and I also, you know, 
X, Y, and Z, but this is just like adding 50 plus more of me into one person and the shit that I've done on top of this, yada yada, I don't know how to really explain this, but that, it, it, it's like watching me as a teenager all over again, and I'm here like, holy shit, that's what I was like? year like you know nine ten years ago by now holy shit that's embarrassing however at the end of the day i'm pretty sure these minors will regret it once they're a little bit older or when realization hits because i know i was one of those kids i remember at like 17 18 i it took time yes but i started to realize like holy shit i should stop where i'm at and you know take responsibility and shit for my actions and, you know, admit my downfalls, admit that I was wrong, admit this and that. And, you know, despite of promises have been broken because I slipped back up and everything, I still knew that what I was doing was wrong, especially in the past. I still regret the shit that I said and done in the past. I really do. And I always try to teach these um, minors because I want to be like an inspirational type kind of figure and tell them like, hey, you know, mistakes happen. But you also got to, like, you know, keep your promises as well. And if you want to be a better person, then you got to you gotta admit and tell the truth what you've done wrong. And I know people will not forgive you. That is really common. And, you know, you can't push that boundary. But other than that, if, you, if they see that you're improving or whatnot, then changes can happen. You will get your said friends back. And if not, then that's okay. I mean... The older I get, the more I realize, like, you know, it is what it is. It happens. They don't forgive me. They don't forgive me. That's fine and good. Even though I've been, you know, watching myself, making sure that I don't slip up to my, you know, bad behaviors I did years ago, whatnot. But I'm just stating that these will, like, the stuff you do will follow you in life. Especially if you want to be a big creator. Or if you are a big creator, it's going to follow you in life. And then, you know, realization will kick in and then you'll be like, oh, shit, I should have fixed that, you know, when the time was still there, all this kind of stuff. But then, you know, it's kind of too late to do that because now you're just either stuck in a loop or, you know, other shit just happens. But half of these kids just don't care. And I understand that. But at the same time, it's like you're going to care later on, especially if you want to be this big YouTube creator, whether it's for like gaming or art streaming or anything of that so like any type of creator that you know is a youtuber it's not just for games it's not for art it's not for just anything there's more to it but the internet is you know it can also ruin a person's life you know and not only that you also got to think that basically um the internet follows you as well. Whatever you post is saved on the internet. It doesn't even matter if you delete or private the videos. It's still there. Like, the shit that you've done will be there as a, like, you know, um, what am I trying to say? It's stuck in the bottom of my tongue, but you know what, I, you get what I mean. I hope you really do understand what I'm trying to cooperate here, but, you know, Despite of the internet being a horrible place as well, especially when you're a child and you want to discover the internet and you want to do things because you see your favorite YouTuber doing it, there's a time and place to not say X, Y, and Z, and there's a time and place where you do say X, Y, and Z. But if you want to be, you know, this great person, then be that great person, but you got to learn to take accountability for your actions, especially when it just happens. I know kids ain't gonna learn that quickly because their brains are still developing, especially other shit. But in the long run, that's something you're gonna learn in high school, like, you know, in middle school and high school. You're gonna learn how to, like, grow up. You're gonna learn how to, you know, do these kind of things. I don't want these kids to just sit there and think, oh, I can do whatever I want, and then the stuff that they're doing right now, like, you know, Tessa, Bella, and whoever, they do this, and then later on when they graduate, or later on in life, they're gonna sit there being like, oh man, I should have fixed that when, you know, I had the time to do that, or when that time happened, I should have did this, this, and this, but I didn't, so now, 
it follows me where I go until I admit my wrongdoings. So, you know, I don't know what's going to happen to Bella. I mean, I don't wish any harm or death or any negative to Bella. But I hope she realizes, like, yeah, I might be doing it for clout. Yeah, I might be trolling this, that, and the third. But it's going to follow me on the long run. I'm going to lose people. You know what I mean? Like... I understand you're trying to be funny, but, like, this kind of stuff isn't funny, especially sitting there admitting that you want soldiers to die that fight for our country. What, what if your family members found that out and you, you know, you have a certain relative or whatnot who was in the war or who is in the war, whatnot? What if, like, somebody did something to your animal like animal cruelty or something you're gonna tell me that you're not gonna cry because somebody hurt your animal i know damn well but i know there is people who are heartless like that but i feel like bella could do better and bella can like make different content that isn't like this but i believe she's trolling but even if she is trolling like this is going way too far especially for her age like i know like again kids can be trolls i i 100 get that but it's like Dude, you're ruining your reputation from this. And it's gonna follow you and hurt you way more as you get older. It's gonna leave a huge scar. And I don't know what that time is gonna be for you. I don't know what your future is gonna be like in the next two to three years. But I hope that you realize that what you're doing is not good. But that's all I have to say about this Bella situation. And... I got as much as I can since there is other videos that are achieved or whatnot. But if you see that I am resharing videos of other people talking about Bella the Wolf or whatnot, then they're a helpful source as well to know who she is. But this is just my intake and my personal thing with Bella. I mean, I don't want her to, like, you know, end up in a situation where, you know, it's too late to do anything or what. There's time. You got time to do that. I just think that it's better to do it now than wait till like you're out of high school or out of college or whatnot because again that's that stuff's gonna follow you especially you know the hate comments then you're gonna get threatened then you're gonna get, like she can sit there saying oh I don't care if I get doxxed or whatever it's this that and a third you're gonna care when you have random strangers at your house and they can do anything to you anything and that's what worries me. You sit there saying you don't care about being doxxed and you think it's okay to dox others when, dude, that's that's not a good thing to do. And not only that, it's a dangerous thing to do, especially if you're sitting here being like, okay, dox me. No, 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 no. That is the wrong thing to do. Very, very wrong. But I'm not your mother. I'm not your significant other. I'm not a relative of you. So what I say ain't gonna get through to your thick skull, but... As an adult myself, I'm hoping that you can do something to change that and hoping that you realize that what you're doing is wrong and you can fix that. Like, you got plenty of time to do it. But the choice is yours. I, I mean, I guess it is what it is. And the same shit even goes for Tessa or Layla, Monica, whatever she goes by. The same shit applies to Tessa as well. Like, you're 14 years old. Instead of changing your story and defending a pedophile that you interacted with and engaged with, you should admit that, like, hey, I was in the wrong. I won't do it again. Like, I understand that you want to be, like, um, Oompa or um, that other dude that catches predators, but you're an actual 14-year-old, so it is dangerous for you. But, again, you denying it and not admitting what you're doing is wrong, that's going to make you look like... You know what I mean? So it's like, this applies to anybody, not just the people that I'm talking about. This applies to anybody, especially if you're a minor, a teenager, whatnot. Your actions have consequences. Excuse me. Your actions have consequences. And you need to realize, like, hey, I fucked up. I'm in the wrong. So let me, you know, admit it. Even if you admit it to somebody or in private or even in public, as long as you admit what you're doing is wrong and you know what you're doing is wrong then you know what you get a huge cookie for that because congratulations that is achievement number one but you know what i mean it's just like dude i don't understand these kids on the internet anymore with this shit i don't but that's as much as i can say about this situation but this is also my input in the end of the video which i apologize this is long originally this was going to be just like maybe a 9 10 minute video but you know here i am rambling so 
yeah, um, that's it for this video, so, uh, yeah, I guess enjoy it as you go.